your KETK Sports Zone, brought to you by Peters Auto Sports Tyler. Basketball just means more in LaRue, and on Saturday afternoon, the LaPointe Flyers punched their ticket to the state tournament for the second year in a row. While they celebrated in the moment, the team also understands the job won't be finished until they bring home the title back from San Antonio. The LaPointe Flyers are going dancing once again after beating their rivals Martins Mill 53 to 43 in the 2A regional championship. Uh, it feels great. It feels great. I know we're going to have uh, we got some preparation to do. We're going to enjoy it for about the next 20 hours till we find our matchup and then uh, kind of get kind of get prepared that way. Feels great to go back with my boys. We lost a big factor last year, but we proved to them that losing one person didn't matter, and we finished it out with the rest of the guys we had. It's, it's the best feeling ever. I can't really describe it. I can't really put it into words, but to be here with this group of guys and, and do this uh, for two years in a row, it just feels amazing. I'm excited. It's just this job's not done yet. We still got a lot to do. We got two more games left, and hopefully we can bring it home. The Flyers found themselves in a battle with the familiar foe in the Mustangs, but senior forward Dewan Whitehead literally put the team on his back, scoring bucket after bucket. I knew I had to bring my A game today. This is the biggest rivalry of the year. And I was just proud I could help our team out and get this sweet victory. He's kind of what we call a unicorn. Uh, there, there ain't nobody like him in the state. Uh, he can shoot outside if he needs to, uh, but he's so big but so agile. Uh, can score in there, can seal, and then he can pass. And, uh, you know, he, he did an outstanding job today. Throughout the regional title game, LaPointe faced adversity, and senior guard Cooper Gracie's leadership Help calm the guys down. You just gotta let them know that that we've been here before and we knows what it we know what it takes to get to that uh, the next level. And so uh, just to not play nervous and, and play your game like you've been playing, and we'll get the job done. He told us. He told everybody honestly, just keep playing. If we play our game, then nothing else will matter. We'll sit there and come out with the win, and that's what we did. Cooper, Cooper did such an amazing job uh, being able to try to get the guys focused, and you know when they make mistakes, you know he, he lift them back up. But it wasn't just their starting five. LaPointe's deep bench helped the Flyers get over the finish line Saturday afternoon. They're, they're a heck of a team. I love playing with them. They bring the same intensity we bring, and they always have my back and I have theirs. Uh, they've, they've done amazing for us. They've uh, went hard every single day in practice, and uh, I, I was really surprised when they came out and stepped up. I knew they had it in them, but to get those nerves out of the way and come out and do that, it was, it was amazing for us. As LaPointe gets ready for the state tournament, they feel their tough non-district schedule prepared them for this run. Uh, we, we played up, we played extremely tough teams and prepared us. I think it helped us with this, and I think it's going to help us moving forward. It prepared us with the physicality. I mean, we're not going to get every call, and us being physical with the bigger schools, it gives us a lot better competition and prepare. The Flyers are just one win away from the state title game and will hit the floor for the semis this coming Friday at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. And the number two LaPointe Flyers will be taking on the number 10 Flatona Bulldogs on Friday, March 10th at 10 a.m. The Flyers are looking to make it to the state championship game after falling in the semifinals last season.